Hello there. Welcome to another Coffee Table Video Review. Hot Toy Cast Coffee Table Video Review. My name is Eamon O'Donoghue. I'm an illustrator and designer. I do a lot of action, work in a lot of action figures and stuff like that. You'll see my work on lots of different things. We won't, we won't go into what I do. Because uh, we're here to enjoy a brand new Mondo 1-6 scale action figure. And this is the one we've been waiting for now. Now, before I actually un unveil this, I did want to point out that all these boxes are actually different shades of color depending on the character so like if you put this alongside the skeleton you'll know that this is distinctively more kind of bloody red than the skeletor box if you put the skeletor box alongside the faker box you'll see that the faker box has got a kind of a thingy um a kind of a red wash to it but there you go just to get get good music timing there we go it is hordak ladies and gentlemen this is the standard edition of hordak I'm gonna turn on white zombie that white zombie might be suitable for this particular unveiling electric head Electric head, white zombie, eh, nah, whatever. Cup of tea. Here he is, guys. Hordak, we've got some lovely artwork again from Florian. I did cover it in the last video as well, but let's just go through it again anyway. It's lovely line art. Florian's a real draftsman with his lovely pink etchings that he etching kind of artwork that he does. It's absolutely lovely. He's a cross-hatching genius is what he is, but that's the that's the, the red version. On the back, we've got the lovely color version. Oops. And uh, yeah, dude, that's, that's a covid -y situation waiting to happen there, isn't it? Um, lovely artwork here from uh, Florian again. All the characters are in it. We've got some arrows here from Bo that clearly have been shot in vain because, you know, they're all broken and stuff. Mantena, Horde Troopers, Leech, lovely standards in the background. we got a Mantazor creeping in the back there. Did I miss anything else? Is there anything else in there that I've missed in the last one? No, I believe that is it now. But that's a lovely illustration. Again, fine draftsmanship from Florian Bertmer there. Loving all the boxes, just love the style of them, you know, it's just, just really works for me. But that's, you gotta open up the figure now and take away the white sheet. We, I love taking away the white sheet of the figure. And there we go, the picture I always love, just seeing a figure in the window, a big massive figure in a window like that, just wee, gets me excited, very excited. So let's read this here. The leader of the evil horde and former master of Skeletor, Hordak is one of Eternia's most infamous adversaries. Betrayed by his former pupil, Skeletor, Hordak was locked away in a different dimension only to soon escape and plot his revenge on Skeletor and all of Eternia. Returning with the evil Horde, Hordak vowed to destroy Skeletor and take down Hebad and Castle Grayskull in the process. Hordak, leader of the evil Horde. I thought it was Ruthless, leader of the evil Horde. I thought it was Ruthless, leader of the evil Horde, but there you go. But that's it there now. It comes in a lovely window box. And uh, let us waste no more time. Let's get him out, because I'm actually really dying to see this. Of course, previous re review had the, the Filmation version, which is great. Love the Filmation version, but this is the one I was really excited about, because this is the kind of one that's kind of, you know, this is this is the first one that was realized, and then they do the variations af af after that point then. So there we go. Oh, same as last time, we got the, the cape is hidden away in the bag. There's a cape again. Oh, less, uh, no, that's gonna be, I'm gonna have to iron that one again. <laughs> so that's fine. No biggie. That's that. Take that away. Okay. Lovely trait. And again, the unveiling. I love this. Part of me, like, doesn't want to, like, feels always a bit thingy doing this, these on videos, but I just, I just love it. So you're gonna hear my initial girly reactions to everything as I open it. Oh, yes. Lovely. Nicely protected. Let's pull them out. Let's pull them out. Let's pull them out. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, here we go. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Ooh, twist his leg around. There we go. Oh, legs are nice and stiff here. Let's hope this ankle. Oh, that ankle's much more stiffer. Thank goodness, because uh, unfortunately that uh, my um, and it seems to be a common issue actually with all the filmation works that this ankle seems to be an issue. Not so here. This guy's rock solid, guys. So yay. Sadly, this is still here. But let's get into that. What we're going to do is we're just going to have a little opening, have a look at all of his gubbins. And then I'm going to sit and chill with him overnight. And then we're going to get it back here again in the morning with a full-on scale review. But yeah, look at him. Hold on a sec there now. Look at that. Because I have a really... Oh, yeah. And there we go. Oops. I us try to move the head up and it popped off. No problem. Pass back on again. There we go, guys. That's him there now. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I need a bit of futzing. Uh, you tend this tends to happen with a lot of figures when you could you get them and like things just move around in the box and things like that so 
you want to kind of, do you know what? I'm going to have to mess about with that arm a little bit because it's kind of, oh, it's riding really low down on his bicep. And I don't know, it needs to kind of go up there, but there you go, guys. Look at that, Oops, sweaty hands. Yeah, I'm loving him. I'm loving his ears and everything. Anyway, we're, we're going to go into the details in a sec. There you go. We're going to go into the details later on. Let's just go through all the gubbins. But it's just really nice that his uh, ankles are nice and stiff on this one. I'm really relieved with that. So that's great. Look at that. Straight out the box. Nice claw hand. Another claw hand. Trigger finger hand. Grippy, grippy hand. Trigger finger hand. Grippy, grippy hand. And what have we got here? There we go. Now, this is the, mine is the standard edition of um of the figure i believe the exclusive version comes with um some extra arm attachments or does it actually come with all the attachments maybe this doesn't come with any arm attachments all right this this guy does not come with any arm attachments then right okay that's fine that's the standard edition so i've got the standard edition but that's fine i can change out the because i've got the other parts with the other hordeck anyway so that's all good yeah exactly i can change out the arm oh but it's got the whippy the whippy bit so i would have liked to have gotten those but we take, what we, we take what we're getting. Stand comes out. And that's everything that's with the standard version. Yeah, I don't know. Right, okay. I thought he might have come with um, a couple of, a couple, at least one arm attachment or any arm attachment. But this one doesn't come with any arm attachments at all. So that's the standard version. I believe, well, uh, people always go for the exclusive version because you do get the extra bits. And it, it usually costs like 10 or 20 bucks more. So there you go. That is everything you get with the Hordak. Uh, what I like to do is this. Uh, put that on here. Uh, just stand that there. Oh, that actually won't stand. The other one actually stood very well. That's got a little nubbin at the bottom. But there you go. What we're going to do is I'm going to sit on chilling this guy. That's everything you get with the stand. This is the, again, this is the standard edition. Mondo store have their own exclusive. So if you order from the Mondo store or indeed you order from other retailers, you can't, you know, you, you have to specify to get this the Mondo Story exclusive, which does come with the arm attachments and things. I've got the arm attachments with the filmation version, so I should be fine. So there you go, guys. We're gonna have a little um, play with him. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get him, get him, get him all armored up and stuff. He's great. Okay, back in a sec, guys. There we go. Now we're back, and I've had a good old chance to sit with Hordak. I've had a good 24 hours with him now on the coffee table, which is what I do now. Part of the course now is just to open the figure, then come along and enjoy the figure on the co on the coffee table. You know, probably watch a movie or whatever it is you're doing with your life, and uh, just to kind of take him all in because that's that's the way I like to take in figures. What I like to do is I like to get him, put him on the coffee table, pose with him, play about with him for about 24 hours to really get a good uh, get a good feel from and stuff like that. So I'm not just going jumping straight into it and giving you things. So I've had my 24 hours now with Hordak, and I have to say. I'm absolutely loving this figure. I really, absolutely love it. First of all, I guess we'll get the um, we'll get the comparisons out the way first. I think that's the, probably the first thing we should do. So, now this is what you get with the standard edition Hordak. So this is the standard edition Hordak. I did not get the Mondo exclusive one. The Mondo exclusive comes with this arm attachment, and then two spinny things like you got with um, Hurricane Hordak, the old action figure, but. With this guy, you get your staff, you get your crossbow, and you get a whole bunch of hands. Fisty fisty hands. He's got a trigger hand there. He's got a gripping hand there. He's got his reaching out tyranty type of hand, another trigger hand. So plenty of hands there for him. I would always like a pointing hand. I always like a pointing hand. I would have liked if they could have given us the, the, the manor hands pointing hand with this guy. That would, have, that would have been cool. But here's where we're talking about the two uh, set, two different figures now. And it's like, right. So I know people, a lot of people out there will only be able to afford to buy one. I'm, I'm lucky I get, you know, I get these Santis Armando. So if I was, if I was to buy one, it would absolutely be this one. Without a shadow of a doubt, it has to be this one. But I know there are Filmation fans out there. And for a lot of fans out there, when they think Hordak, they think of this Hordak. They think of the blue skin Hordak with little matey here. And that's cool. But just as just just overall in, in my impressions, I just I just much prefer this one. I prefer the head sculpt in this one. I like the head sculpt here too, but it's just a bit, it's just a bit featureless and it's it's nice. It's cold. Mm. He's got the, the the mouth on and stuff like that, and and, I do, and it's it's great. But I just for me, this is just far more an interesting figure. It's just overall just a more interesting. I think the colors are way more interesting on this one. Um, 
But if you're if you're on the fence about getting 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 one, I mean, it's it's really down to whether you prefer the filmation colors or the toy colors. If you are just wanting the good the good Hord, the better Hordak figure for me, this is the better Hordak figure, and that's that. This is still nice, but uh, this guy, you know, he he, he comes with the, the, sl the slightly odd leg and things. Um, they both have the, the same, but we'll, we'll get onto it. They both have the same hard um. Uh, uh, the uh, line cloth actually, which I thought might have been might might have might have not been a comment between them, but there you go. Um, that's those two there. It's really up to yourself. Both are really really great looking figures, but that's the one for me. And as such, we're going to continue on with them. Uh, so yeah, it comes with this lovely crossbow. I'm gonna take that out of his hands, and again, we're going to go through all the lovely details. Again, lovely details here. Oh, by the way, this figure is designed by. Uh, Milan, Milano Santa Lucia. You know, Milano is a friend of mine, so I'm just delighted to see him doing massive universe um, designs. And, and what great designs he does! He does some really nice things. He has some really nice ideas. Again, we're going going back in. We're going with some over ter old order territory now with the previous one, but I'm going to go over them again anyway. And I'm going over the details again anyway because it's a different figure. Um, look at the lovely, the lovely the way this is. It's kind of like a stretched skin almost it's like something like stretched leather over so i'm loving that idea i think that's a really nice touch to bring that over there so you can you can bring the chains down there and they kind of grip into this the little slots here on the side again i've spoken about this before but i love the raised spikes here on the side absolutely great stuff i'm loving all this here again great you can see the join is actually there and stuff lovely spikes there lovely bat symbol there under his uh thingy again all lovely details the bones Bones are really great. Nice kind of techno stuff going on in his arms. Again, I love I love the fact that he the, the language of his design is slightly different from the others. It's very cool. Uh, down to the feet again. I've spoken about the feet in the previous one, but I, I again, the feet, uh, the feet are just, I just feel they should be bigger and they should be that kind of some more standard flayed out Hordak thing. I've spoken about that before, but I love I loved the actual design of the boots. These are all, look at this. They come up really nice. I love all these extra bits. Lovely fins here. That one's that fin slightly bent there, that one. Yeah, that, that's nice and straight. And you get this lovely crossbow, which comes out of his hand really easily. Popper string on there. It doesn't actually fire, but there is a string in there and things. And um, yeah, really nicely designed. Really nice. I always wonder what these things fire. Did they fire like a tongue at dudes? <laughs> a laser tongue? We just assumed it was just kind of like a blast or something like that, didn't we? But yeah, that's really cool of the lever there. Really, really, really nice. Um, yeah, and that, that's in terms of, oh, it's getting on his face, actually. Look at that. Now, you see, that's where this one shines over the other one. Because I love all the details on him. I love the extra details on his ridges there and his kind of um, shark fins almost there. Look, he's got a, some nice extra details in here. He's got all the dots as well that you remember from the original toy on the top. It was always like, what, is it crustacean? Is he a cyborg or is he a kind of thingy? This is... I don't know what this is. This is, again, it's kind of like crustacean, kind of metallic y, but, you know, and he's got two bolts there, two dots there. So I'm just wondering, you know, maybe it is kind of a technical thing. So I will have to speak to Emiliano. Emiliano's coming on the Hot Toy Cast this week. So do check out the Hot Toy Cast it's on iTunes, all the rest of them, because I'll be reviewing this figure probably again uh, later on today. It's going to be burnt out with talking about this figure all day today. But we're going to have Emiliano Santa Lucia on the Hot Toy Cast to actually talk about this design. So keep, keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, that's an, it's in terms of its design. I'm loving all this. Great things on it. Yeah, I, I just wish, I just feel his feet are just not substantial enough. I would like to have said before, but I, I, there's something very satisfying in the shape of the original Hordak foot on the figure. There was just something really satisfying because he just looked different from the others. It just kind of set him apart from the others. That's what's, and the, I always think the evil Horde in general, all those guys were set apart. <gasps> My God, if we got something to do some Mondo, Grizzlors, and Mantenas and Leech, because let's face it, the Horde are extremely cool characters. They are kind of the lynch mob of, uh, of Masters of the Universe. They're like the, the, the hard boys of Masters of the Universe. But yeah, he's great. Love his teeth as well. Would like them to be a little bit sharp. Would I like to have gotten some bottom teeth in there? Just a little bit. You can kind of see him in there, but just a little bit more. He looks like he's speaking. I would like to be a little bit more kind of angry looking. I love his eyes. Very, very, very creepy eyes as well. Really lovely design. I just, I love him. Absolutely love this figure. Yeah. So in terms of articulation, it comes with all the same, same standard articulation as with Mondo. The cuffs here slightly um, hinder his articulation, but what you do is you kind of move the gauntlet down, then you can kind of bend the arm back up again. But you got to be careful because it will, it will pop the hands out a little bit. That's just 
That's just the way it goes with these, I'm afraid. Um, yep, yeah, full full ball at wrist, wrist, wrist articulation, used to all that. This is where it kind of falls. This is where it loses the point of me is again with the previous one. It does have the restricted legs. It's it doesn't have um, a, a gammy um, knee joint on this one, so that's great. But yeah, that's that really is as far as you're going to get out the legs on that. Maybe maybe a bit more. There you go. You don't want to force them anymore because if you force legs that aren't meant to move with something else, you will put too much stress on the joint and it will break off. So be careful of that. Um, I haven't broken my right hand, and these are very sturdily made. But yeah, so yeah, you can just get that far. And then in terms of the legs, you're just looking at that. You know, that's fine. You can get them good walking, walking across, you know, Abbey Lane or whatever, Abbey Road. Um, so like my issue would be that you kind of want them to have the one foot up pose, kind of looking dominant, like in the box of the art and, or the, the box art and stuff. But you kind of can't. You can't really, you can't really get his leg up kind of more than that. So and that, that to me is very unfortunate because for me, an action figure has to still function as an action figure. I give the same critical crits to Hot Toys as well. I got a beautiful Captain America from Avengers Endgame a few weeks ago. And while he's beautiful, his legs are restricted as well because of his tight pants. And that's, that just ruins it for me. For me, a figure has to be able to pose. This isn't so bad because this guy actually still moves a bit better than Captain America, I'll tell you that. And, you know, aside from getting the leg up, getting the leg up, hey... Um, that's the really only dis disadvantage I have for for, ha for having these. I just they just need to just be a more pliable material. That's all, and it would have been fine. You know what I mean? As it is, it's a it's well sculpted and all the rest of it. But it's just it's that that for me is a little bit of a bummer. Um, but it doesn't kill the figure for me at all in the slightest because, as I said, I really love this one. In fact, this actually bothers me less on this figure. I think I don't know why, but it just bothers me less on this one because again, I just love it. Okay, uh so actual arm articulation then. You know. Not bad. Same as always before. None of the Mondo figures could ever go flush to the side, but he especially can't because he's got an extra layer on top of his torso here. So yeah, that's as far as the arms are going to go down. The arms are going to go up all the way around. No problems there at all. Uh, out. There we go. There we go. There we go. So you can get him to, his arms to go proper out. There you go. So he looks proper good. Yeah. All the, all the standards and, and uh, thing is that you get bicep swivel, you know, actually, let's do it. You can actually see the bicep. There you go. Bicep swivel there. Oh, yeah. God, see, he, he, they're very stiff sometimes, these guys, aren't they? There you go. And as I said, watch out for the, uh, out for the, the gauntlets because, unfortunately, the gauntlets are just a little too long. And they, if you, if you move them up, they'll think you push it on, they'll push the hand forward. So just find your happy place and what i tend to do anyway is i like the gauntlets kind of covering up most of the wrists anyway because like it also covers up the ball joint it's got a wrist swivel his head doesn't doesn't look up that much you know it doesn't look up as much as the other hordak the other hordak actually the previous hordak tended to look up so you can only get that range of motion of him so not the greatest range of motion out the head you get tilt to the side a bit better that way oh yeah you can do it that way so you can look at your sideways you know, giving you the sideways smile. Yeah, I mean, head looks up okay enough. Not, again, not quite as good as the other one. There we go. And I would have liked him to be able to look down a bit more. But that, that's about all you can get him to look down. Yeah, so there you go. And he stands really well as well. You know, he doesn't have, again, like this guy, the other guy doesn't have the thingy elbow on you. There you go, he's all ready to go. So, no problems there at all on any of that. And he just looks really good. Oh yeah, well... There you go, you can get the leg back that way, it'll, it'll stop it there. And you don't want to be bending these too much in it because you don't want to scuff the paint jobs on, on these either again. I mean, these are the kind of figures that you do. I Look, bottom line is an action figure should be able to be played with whether we play with them or not. That's my criteria for an action figure. I can play with this guy fine and he doesn't frustrate me. I'm dying to have him interacting with other characters as well. I'm going to get all my models on the table and have a cool kind of dope scene and stuff like that. But we, we, we need a few more characters. I mean, we need to get that battle cat that we saw. <laughs> battle cat. But yeah, absolutely love this figure. I think he's really, really good. Um, he is sold out now in uh, the Mondo store, but you should be able to get him on other stores. See, he'll, he'll be showing up in, in certain retailers at the moment, I believe. Uh, Mondo ship out their shipments first, and then for everyone else, then, you know, you'll get him in the retail. So look for him in places like Forbidden Planet, Big Bad Toy Store. Um, you know, uh, for all of you in Britain, I highly recommend people go and look at the British stores before going to Amazon or anything like that. Give your British, give those British stores your support. So like Comics and Cocktails in Jersey, 
uh, not com art comics and cocktails, but collectible kingdoms in Jersey, comics and cocktails, into the verse. All these guys, you know, these are all people you should be supporting and things like that. Give, give them your money. And I find the services from these uh, UK stores to be really great. So do check out those UK stores to see if they have them. And if they don't have them, ask and see if they can get them in. Um, but yeah, he's sold out now. And again, this is the standard version. And um, I'm absolutely loving it. Let's, um, before we sign off, let's get him over here with Keldor, his pupil. Oh, my goodness. But these guys have a fraught relationship. But there you go. I said I'd put him with Keldor over there because he just looks, they just look cool together, don't they? Yeah. So there you go. Mondo. One six scale action figures, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely dope. Um, put him back again with the other one in case you just want to see him one more time. You know, it's still lovely, this one. I love this one. I didn't put the cape on this one because I like making the differences between them more clear. Um, it's still it's still great. You heard my view. I do love it. But this just rocks. Just, just There's just something about the design and everything. It just works in these colors for me. It, this, this is great because he does feel very much like out the cartoon and things. And I love the fact that they got two different head sculpts. I think that's really great. Because like with our Skeletors, we got a couple of different versions of Skeletors from uh, Mondo. And they came with all the same heads. I love the fact that he went the extra mile and we got two distinctively different heads here. Um, I guess we could do the whole thing and swap out the heads. People may, well, might, might want to see that. So let's see how that looks. Oh, he's going to fall, isn't he? There you go. How's that? That's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. There's some in this one. Mm, that's all right. So you can see his legs flaying out during the annoying fling thing. Ah, that's interesting. But now, hey, yeah, I mean, that looks all right actually, doesn't it? But no, let's 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 switch them back. Let's switch them back. He's gonna fall over on me, isn't he? The heads pop off very easily, as you can see. I like I like that, but the hands do pop off far too easily for my tastes. Because if you just move that gauntlet slightly forward in the arm, it will pop off the hand. Again, that's, for me, playability is, is, is a paramount thing with action figures. But as I've said, I've had them on my uh, uh, table now, and I'm absolutely loving it. So there you go. That's pretty much all I've kind of got to say on this guy. Um, really worth getting. Um, he's like, he'd be, he'll end up probably being like 200 quid um, for most folks in the UK, I think, for, for other people. You know, um, it's going to be more. I know retailers like to add an uh, extra little bit of a uh, coin onto because they've got to have import charges. Since I did get import charges on mine, even though mine are samples from Mondo and the rest. I still have to pay for the import fees. So that's just the way it is. That's why prices are always going to be a little bit more expensive because we are, you know, paying more the import fees. Whether they'll sort it out with other deals to post Brexit or whatever, I have I've no idea. But there you go, guys. Mondo, one six scale, Hordak standard regular release. Absolutely brilliant. Like, I'm loving it. I'm loving all the Mondo figures so far, but absolutely great stuff. The next figure now we're getting is Scareglow. And I don't know what we're getting after that. Then we, we've, we've, been hint, we've been shown the teasers of Shira. We've been shown teasers of Battle Cat. Let's see what else we got coming. I'm hoping we, we're going to get more characters because I would fill up a whole cabinet full of these Mondos, if you ask me. So there you go. I've been able to know who. You've been watching a Hot Toy Cast coffee table video review. And I shall see you on the next one, guys. Ta-ra, then!